Hello, everybody. Good evening. We're going to be working on a gnome tonight. And I want to welcome you all. Everybody having a nice day so far? What's everybody up to this evening? Excuse me why I just put on a few links. Had a little bit of technical difficulties, but I think we're up and running. Hello, LeBon. How's my girlfriend? Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, we're using a unique in the creek uh, tree board. I did a little altering of the board. Okay, I took off two of the ends of the board. And I'll show you why towards the end. Hi, Lori. Looking forward to meeting you this week. I'll be there on Thursday at the wreath conference or the wreath gala. Is this, can you guys see okay? I think my camera's acting up. Hi, Kathy. So I took off the two little corners, but I did not sand them down yet, but I will not be throwing these out because I'm gonna add a couple of um, little holes and we're going to make some Christmas tree ornaments out of that at a later date. All right. So I went ahead and preloaded my board already with my zip ties. We're using two, two uh, different colored ribbons, both Sam's Club ribbon. We've got, because you know that red and turquoise are the new colors this year for Christmas. So I cut them at 13 inches. I did not do the usual dovetail that we do. I did it the other way, so it's pointing down. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the bottom. Now I left the last three rows empty because that's where I'm gonna put my beard, along with my nose, which what I did, I had a shatterproof um, Christmas ball that I cut off part of the end and that's going to be glued on over top of the um, beard. I also want to tell you guys I have, hey girlfriends, I have a bunch of questions I'm going to be asking at the end. So um, I want to know what you want to see in the future. Oh, what's it doing? Oh my goodness. Just want to try and get it down so you guys can see it. Let's hope that works. Okay. And there's two new links in my in my comments to our new groups. We already have people signing up to the Fabulous Dreams design group. And our first meeting is tonight. We have a Zoom call for a couple hours. And then we have a live that's going to be happening on Friday. So there's going to be techniques and other things that we're going to show you in those classes that we will not show you on the unpaid group. So those links are there. Okay, so let me get started. I went ahead and I already folded these in half. These are 13 inches. So I'm scrunching them up at the fold, putting them in the zip tie. And my hubby even went and got me one of these contraptions. So let's see if I can get it to work. Look at that. No more pulling it. See that? It pulls it till it's tight and then it cuts it off. Woohoo! That is Harbor Freight. Hi, Joy. Welcome. So again, we folded it in half. These are all cut at 13 inches. And they're all Sam's Club ribbon. Then we scrunch it and we fold it over. I left the last three rows empty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Where have you been all my life? Then as LaVon likes to hear me say, we're going to jack this guy up. 
after we're all done. It's um, a Unique in the Creek Christmas tree board, or tree board. I have a link to my um, affiliate. You get 10% off. And what I did was, for those that are just joining, I cut the two side corners off. I'm not going to throw these out because I'm actually going to turn these into little Christmas tree ornaments by adding extra holes. But see, this is where I want to put my beard. And I didn't want to put it at the bottom because I didn't want it that long. So I needed these off so the beard would jet down but not like flare out, flare down here and expose the board. Okay. That was an awesome, um, informative live there, Miss Tequila. You should download that to YouTube. I'm sure there are a lot of people that want information on shipping. Almost looks like a bow tie. I love this color. And I love this, this gun. As long as you get it in the hole right, it works. Don't make a liar out of me now. Well, I guess it only worked on two ties. And I found out there's going to be a couple more people at Reef Gala. Katie's going to be there and Wilhelmina's going to be there. So I will at least know two people and Lori, Lori from Unique in the Creek. So I am excited. Let's see if I can get it to work now. If not, I'm not recommending Harbor Freight's gun, that's for sure. There, it's hung up. Nope, not working anymore. No problem. We'll just go manual and it will go back. It's just nice when you can do that and it tightens it for you and then cuts it. All right, so that's one row. Remember, we're three rows up. Now we have this ribbon. This is a pretty turquoise ribbon with a diamond. I am excited. I've been waiting for it a long time to go. And it's not going to be very big. I know they originally said they had spaces for 80 people. I don't think they filled all 80. There's still some people signing up. There's a lot of make and takes. There's a lot of designs that are going to be shown. And it seems like very ample vendor time which is always nice because those people pay a lot for those spots. So I'm looking forward to that. Would have been nice to take my hubby along. Do they? Okay. I'll have to look at the Amazon one. So. And notice I am cutting the ties on the top because I don't want them scratching my door on the other side. Hello, Susan. Hello. Susan, we're going to be making a gnome out of a Unique in the Creek Christmas tree board. I altered the board. Not sure if you saw. But I took the two corners off, which I'm saving for a later date. I'm going to add extra holes to them and make a little Christmas tree ornament. Yes, I'm hoping it's going to be very small and intimate. Hello, Dorothy. Scott Waterman's going to be there. Um, I forget who else is going to be there. Lori from Unique in the Creek is going to be there. I think the one from the Bam Reese is going to be there. 
Oh no! Okay, no problem. There's still ample time for vendors, so it'll be nice, Lori. It'll be nice to finally meet you. Boy, this is this has got the glitter on it, that's for sure. Which is what I wanted. All those new Christmas colors. I chose this board to do the gnome because we have a bunch of gnomes that are going to be showing up in my lives coming up. Did you all see um, Second Chance Saturday? Did you see my angel that I made on Second Chance Saturday? She's just out of a wood leg. Isn't she pretty? And then I'll put some flowers here or a package or a candle. It's Rachel on here. Hey, Rach. So don't forget, if you haven't signed up for our new groups, Fabulous, Fabulously Fine Designers. And then the paid group is the Fabulous Dream Designs Design Group. These are cut at 13 inches. We're scrunching them and then folding them back down and putting them in the zip tie. We're making a gnome out of the Unique in the Creek Christmas board. My zip tie gun already broke. And this week on our paid group, there's going to be two designers and they're making a Halloween um, wreath. Then the following Friday, Dawn and I are going on, and it's all going to be about gnomes. Dawn will be making a gnome wreath with a gnome, not this one, one that I made. And then um, I'm going to be showing how to make that gnome. So we got three rows. Now we're going to go back to the turquoise. I will go back and adjust these when I'm done. I also want you to give me some ideas. Oh, that's great, Denise. I'm glad we're showing you something new. I'm al I am also want you to write in the comments if you have an idea of something you'd like to see me do. Keep it clean on a live. If there's a certain technique you're not sure about, um, if you have trouble with bows, um, if you want to see a different kind of wreath, a unique in the creek board, whatever. My YouTube channel is on there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to that because I, I upload on Saturdays, um, Second Chance Saturdays, which I take something from a thrift store and I revamp it. Thus, that's how our angel came into play last week. I go live Monday night and Wednesday afternoon, or Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday afternoon at 2. This week, I will have to um, either record it or do it later due to an appointment. I got glitter. Welcome, Shirley. All right, now we'll go into the next layer. This 
one gonna be one snazzy gnome. These boards are so easy to work with. There is a link to my affiliate shop if you're interested in any of the boards. There are several types. Small flower board, big flower board, character board. Uh, they came out with a cross. That's very nice. Be great for a grave site because it's waterproof. Holds up really well. And then the tree board. Yes, that is ribbon. It's the two and a half inch wide ribbon from Sam's Club. It's cut at 13 inches and it's not dovetailed the way we normally do. It's brought to a point and we're making a gnome. Thank you. These are the newest colors for Christmas this year, the turquoise and the red, if you didn't know. Hopefully they'll teach me more at the conference, the wreath gala this week. This month around here, I think it's gonna be all about gnomes. They're addicting. When you start making them, you can't stop. Thank you. I did alter the board a little. I took off the bottom corners, which will not go to waste. We will make a Christmas tree ornament out of those. I'll try not to throw anything out. Yes, they came from Sam's Club. Six ninety-five, I think they are, or six ninety-nine. And somewhere in this house is last year's batch of Christmas ribbon, and can't seem to find it. <laughs> so I had to go with what I had this year. I know. I'm anxious. I'm anxious to meet Scott. I'm anxious to meet Katie face to face. Well, Amina will be there. Lori. Lori's on here. She is from, she's the, the designer of these boards, the Unique in the Creek boards. Finally be able to say hello in person. some new friends, learn some new techniques. They told us we could bring our favorite um, ribbon maker. I know, they're so much fun. Ooh. That'll be time to start soon. If you go by the calendar, now's the time to stop making fall and start making Christmas. I guess I am short one. So let's just cut another one. Tell you, it takes a while to get used to cutting the tip the other way. <laughs> I'm so used to cutting it, dovetailing it. That's 
tell you what, you can really get some aggression out on this board too by zipping those zip ties. And I got plenty to let go today. Right, LaVon? Now, why is that not going through? Come on. Don't be shy. There we go. And what I did, because I wanted the upper hole left open, I actually took, well, it's not there now. I actually want the, um, yeah, it's probably upstairs. Let me see if I got one here. I got one here. I actually want the tie for hanging to go in the middle of the first row the last two because I want that I do not want that at the top hole I wanted it right there to leave these two free and this hole free and I'll show you why in a second And I was worried about using this ribbon because it is so see-through, but this ribbon goes on top of it and it's hiding everything. Hi, Lori. This is not the gnome I sent you pictures of, Miss, Miss Jacobs. This is just one I'm doing tonight. The other gnomes that I sent you a picture of will be doing um, Friday the 20th in our group. Be showing you how to make them. I want to do a whole bunch of different gnomes this month. And I'm really, really, really enjoying the YouTube um, class. I've already finished six of the videos today that you just posted. Teresa, the ribbons were cut at 13 inches and then they were not dovetailed. They were cut the opposite way to make them go to a point. All right. Now, this is why I cut this, these two pieces off. I took the two ends off of the bottom because this is where I'm going to put my beard and I didn't want it coming down. I wanted it covering the ends. So these will be saved for Christmas tree ornaments. So I cut a piece of fun fur and I'm going to hot glue it in place so it will be hanging down. See, if I would have left those corners, it wouldn't have turned out the way I wanted it to. So, I'm just going to push this out of the way. And I'm going to hot glue this to the board. Lori Jacobs, did you see that Katie has gone to the wreath gala? I'm going to be able to meet her per in person. She'll be there and Wilhelmina will be there. We are going to have a great time. There we go. So you see that's covering. It's laying exactly how I wanted it to go. And see, I don't have to worry about those corners being in the way. Now, I took this Christmas ball and I chopped off the bottom of it. It's one of those that um, shatterproof, and that's going to be the nose. And I wanted it to lay flat because I wanted to put it in here amongst all the ribbon. And I wanted to attach it to the the beard 
How many filled the beard? Uh, the board. I went one, two, three rows up and started at the fourth row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty one, twenty two. So there's twenty two of the striped ribbon, and there's less of the turquoise ribbon. All right, let's glue our nose. And I'm just gonna, because this is so lightweight, it should just adhere right to the beard just fine. see with the beard there I couldn't I couldn't um, attach it through a hole I could have made a hole in the ribbon but I didn't want to do that so there's his nose sticking out okay then the reason I put the hanging hook in between the top the first row in between the two was because I'm going to cover up this now, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to give it a shot. I made this tube-like um, sock that I'm going to actually glue. Well, let's see if it'll work first. Because you know me, I like to make mine different than everybody else. Now, what it's going to do, and gonna have to probably put one more of the ribbons in there let me do that put one in between to cover up that that space there it was he's gonna cut it the wrong way again So I'm going to put another zip tie in there. I love these boards because there's so much you can do with them. It's not all cookie cutter. There. That covers it up like I wanted to. I still have the the one, the zip tie in there that's going to be the hanger. Now, I want this to go to like a point. So I'm going to hot glue without burning my fingers. Because I've done that. Been there, done that. And then I'm going to hot glue the tip of the ball. So that doesn't pop off. This is going to be like the pom pom on the end of his hat. And then I'm going to glue this. I may have to sew it later, but I want to glue it in there. And all I did was take two pieces of ribbon and sew them together, left an end open, and then threw some stuffing in there. may have to get crafty and tie another ribbon on there. But if this doesn't work, then the ball is gone on the end of the board. Then we'll go to plan B. It's 
working, but I may have to just tie some ribbon around to close off that last row. So let's see, will it, will it hang down? Yes, it will. Yes. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to glue a little bit to the top, and then we're going to use the other coordinating ribbon and tie it around. That way, we totally disguised it. I love that we can just glue to these boards, too. Okay. And you see I still have my hook for hanging. So now we'll take this and we will disguise that last row. See, I need something to tie it with. Um, actually, I'm just gonna cut a bigger piece. I'm not gonna, not gonna skimp. I'm gonna do it right. There we go. Now I should be able to tie a bow. Boy, has the glitter deposited itself on my table. Okay, there we go. There's our noom. Except this has to be on that side. How's it look? Does he look handsome? Does he look festive? Colorful? Am I still on? <laughs> Is Facebook still working? Because I'm not getting comments. Yeah, but I kind of wanted to mix it up. Because this is actually the colors I'll be decorating with this year since they're hot this year. So, you see as it sits against the door, it'll set up fine. I can bring you some, Lori, if you need it. I got extra. Yep. See, I went, while everybody was down at Wreath Makers Live, I went and did a live from my Sam's Club saying I was going to buy it all out before everybody got home. So, thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Denise. Thanks, Darlene. Thanks, Levine. See, 
and then see by cutting this off I got the angle I wanted and I'll make two Christmas tree ornaments with the pieces I cut off. And we'll be making handmade gnomes in our group um, next week on the 20th. Thank you. All right, now I need some ideas. What do you guys want to see? What upcoming videos or tutorials or... Um, I mean, you saw you saw my second chance Saturday, right? Where we took a chair leg and we made it into an angel. Every Saturday morning, I download, a, a, you know, something that I've made. Like the first one was our our farmhouse sign we made out of a placemat. Um, we did the pot lids. The scarecrows out of pot lids. And there was another one too that we did. Oh, the bunt pans we made into pumpkins. There's our scarecrows that we made. I love to go to the local thrift stores and find stuff and turn them into something else. The base is the Unique in the Creek board tree board that I cut the edges off to accommodate the beard. The ribbon is cut at 13 inches. Um, I added a little end of his hat to the top. Thank you. If you think you can get that ribbon across the border, I will pick it up for you. It's no problem. I know, that's why I made them. I just haven't <laughs> made the wreath because I can actually see some of them I took the handles off. And one of them I left the handle on and used that as the nose. And you can make these into snowmen too. So... Just something different. I can drill holes in there and then mount them right in to the wreath. This is um, the paper mesh. You know, the it's not paper mesh. What am I calling it? Um, but yeah, there's all that. And then we made this on Saturday. I usually put like a Christmas present or a candle in her arms. Thank you. Okay, so any ideas for upcoming videos? Something you'd like to see me try to attempt? You know, I go live on Monday nights, and I also go live on um, Wednesdays. Wednesday may be earlier or later. My son has another appointment. He still is not doing too well after the stage three concussion, so somebody's got to drive him. Any questions I can answer? You want to see snowmen? Okay. Anything else? Actually, I have an awesome snowman that I'm making and he's out of a tall cookie tin. So he's the perfect size to go in a wreath. So I'll get him made up so we can put him in a wreath. Any other suggestions? The 
You want one or two? Miss Franklin. <laughs> Four or five, Miss Franklin. <laughs> you tell me. I will pick it up. Thank you, Anne Marie. She's made, I save all the lids for my candles. So she has a wood base on the bottom, just hot glued. She was a chair leg or a table leg or a staircase spindle. These are actually the little, um, oh, what do they call them? You actually put them in a coat rack to hang things from, um, which I just tied some wire around. These are the little grapevine wreaths. This is a wooden knob. It's different from a wooden ball because it has a flat bottom. And then we have the rusty wings for the top. She looks so cute at Christmas. I have another one that's smaller. Um, I use all different sizes. And then I put little Christmas presents or flowers or candles in their hands. You got it. One of each. Any other color? Let's see. I ended up, I think I got 38 rolls that day. So, there's every color <laughs> imaginable. There is the thin, there is the wide, there is colored um, reindeer, checks, um, ho, ho, ho. You're welcome. Thank you. They have, and, and it's reasonable and it's good quality. It's not, it's not um, your Dollar Tree ribbon. Um, I thought this one was nice too. I even came home and showed my stash too. This says Merry Christmas on it. This has Reindeer and Christmas. Merry Christmas. This one was pretty too. I use this all year round. I always buy a lot of the red for Valentine's Day. And then I always buy a lot of the green for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I thought this one was really different too this year. I don't know if you can see that. Um, oops. I got some blue and some pink because I'm going to be a grandmom in February, so I needed baby colors. I thought this was nice too. It's a green plaid. I thought that was really cool. I'm trying to get the ones on the bottom. There we go. And this color is hot, the buffalo. Yep. Then this one has a lot of Christmas sayings on it. Okay, so I got plain green. They even had this, which you can use that all year long. Um, this is just a, a check, like a, so yeah. Oh, I don't know if I showed this one. This one's cute. Ho, ho, ho. No, they're 50 yard rolls. 50 yards for $6.95. See what I mean? I went there, like I said, everybody was down at Wreath Makers Live. And I went and I, first I called, they said they didn't have it. And I said, I'm going up anyhow. And then I found it. Look at that one. Isn't that cute? I have it. I'm sure it's. you can use it at any Sam's Club. Do they have one in Rochester? Oh, and this one was kind of cute, too. See, it has the little reindeer on it. Can you see it without the glare? Yep. And this one has snowflakes on it. The 
there's supposedly a truck ribbon out there, but they only gave it to certain ones. And look at that one with the Christmas trees. So they're 50 yard rolls. Hi, Thelma. That is why when I go, I stock up for the year because like I said, you can use a lot of these colors throughout the year. Not just for Christmas anymore. So there were, I think I got 38 rolls. For that price, for 50 yards, and like I said, it's wired ribbon, so it's good quality ribbon. You can't beat it. I can't buy it from Sims and and get it at that that price, and and I didn't have to pay shipping. So go on their website, see if they show it on their website. If they don't, um, if there's one in Rochester, I'd be more than happy to take you there. I don't think you'll have any trouble taking it back over the border. <laughs> You're welcome. So there you go. The first in the many gnomes that are going to show up on this table. It's got a little, little piece jetting off the side there. There we go. And there's his beard. He's gone on my door because these are my colors this year. Okay, if you guys have no more questions, you can look for me on Wednesday. Like I said, it. I'm not sure what the time will be. It's usually 2 o'clock. I may do it earlier before I take him or I may download it and not be live or I may do it when I come back. We use the two and a half inch ribbon. We cut it at 13 inches, fold it in in half, zip tied it to the board, and voila. You are so welcome. Look forward to meeting you, Lori, this week. That would be. We'll have to try that, Darlene. That's a good one. All right, so you want to see a cross and you want to see a snowman, and there's more gnomes to come. So let me know. Okay, and I thank you all for joining. I hope you can spread the love and check out our two new groups, the Fabulously Fine Designers. And then um, we have Fabulous Dream Design Group. That's a paid group that will be doing a lot of unique things. We have some pretty talented designers. There's eight of us. And everybody has something that they're really good at. Hello, Jeanette. Welcome from East Texas. And if you guys think of anything else you want to see, let me know. Okay? If not, I will be talking to you soon. Look for me on Wednesday and look for a new video for Saturday. I haven't decided what I'm going to make over, but it'll be something like the angel. Okay? Alright guys, have a great evening. Talk to y'all soon. Thank you.